this week in Knicks news, the off-season weekly recap giving you the lowdown on the orange and blue. Hit that subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. First up, Ninja P is back at work during the offseason. According to NBA sources, the Knicks have blanketed the first and second round of the playoffs with Scott Perry dispatching pro scouts across the country to evaluate free agents and trade candidates. The report by Mark Berman of the New York Post says that Perry wants to evaluate players during the playoffs, which is in the most important time during the, than the regular season, to see how players perform in high-pressure situations. Now, Berman would also go on to say that the Knicks are not just focused on the top-tier guys, but they're also looking at the second-tier players, such as Chris Middleton, Tobias Harris, and Nikola Vucevic. He even included Wesley Matthews, who had a short stint with the Knicks during the KP trade. Now, my reaction to that is this. Yes, these second-tier players may not bring it all home for us during the offseason, but you know what? You still have to go out evaluate all talent you never know what a player's market will be come free agency and you still have to go out and do your homework so good job by ninja p in that regard next up kevin knox and coach fizz putting some off-season work in early photos surfaced earlier this week of kevin knox and coach fizzdale at the knicks practice facility looks like they were doing some one-on-one -on -one drills for kevin knox entering his sophomore season this could be a big year for him so it's good to see him getting out there early and working out with coach fizz hopefully they'll work on his defense tracy morgan was making his media rounds this week appearing on the howard stern show the dan patrick show the rich eisen show and first take to give his takes on the Knicks offseason, here's what he had to say. What do you think you guys are going to get? KD, I think we're Zion? Get KD, uh -huh. We're getting KD. Yep. We're getting Kyrie. And I called the government. The ball is going to drop. We're getting Zion. Everybody in Nick Nation, be patient. The rings are coming. When you, when you, get rid of, when you make a bold trade like KP. Bold, this is what you call? You free up Why 75. Why should KD leave the money? Warriors? That means the rings are coming. Now, obviously, anything that Tracy Morgan says has to be taken in a lighthearted fashion because he is a comedian. But as one of my favorite comedians, it's even better to see Tracy out there with a good sense of humor. Looks like he's finally back to good spirits after that horrific car accident that he suffered a few years ago. Now, Amario was out there also talking about the Knicks this week. He was featured on the crossover hosted by Sports Illustrated, where he gave his thoughts on his tenure with the Knicks, his advice to future free agents, and his thoughts on James Dolan. Well, it's interesting, though, too, because I think outwardly, like, a lot of fans have a lot of criticisms for Jim Dolan, but you said several times that you really enjoyed playing for him. Well, well I had a good time. I, I think for me, I think he's trying to do whatever he can to bring the right people in to help run the organization. And therefore, the guys who are have the basketball minds, uh, I mean, it's their job to try to figure a way to win. Now, obviously, it hasn't been easy. But uh, I think for the most part, Jim somewhat done his part. Now, the irony of the whole thing is one of the worst moves that Jim Dolan and his regime did during that stretch was sign Amari Stoudemire to that max contract. But I got to agree with Stat. I think the Jim Dolan narrative has been way overblown. I think Dolan hires the people that he wants to run the basketball team. And it's up to them to put the right pieces in place to build a contender. So with that being said, it's up to Scott Perry to make sure that Steve Mills stays out of his own way. Now, speaking of James Dolan, some strange news came out this week that a group of MSG shareholders was suing James Dolan for not paying enough attention to the team and focusing instead on his band, JD, and the straight shots. Now, the funny thing is, for the Dolan haters, this would be a good news. But to me, it sounds like fake news, not too sure what to believe. But for one thing's for sure, we live in a world where everybody wants to sue you for everything. So it's not surprising if it is true. New York Giants unheralded rookie Daniel Jones was in the spotlight this week. At the Giants offseason workout press conference, the former Duke quarterback was asked to touch on Duke's former basketball star and the projected number one pick in this year's NBA draft. Uh, a little bit. I've gotten um, uh, a 
little bit. So. Have you talked with Christine Grant and maybe him coming up to New York to join you? Yeah, we uh, we talked a little bit about that actually uh, this week. That'd be, uh, that'd be a good deal. We'll, we'll see what happens. He's a, he's a Time will tell what type of NFL quarterback Daniel Jones will turn out to be. But let's hope that we have two Duke stars in New York for a long time, bringing success to their respective franchises. Now, we all know about Mitchell Robinson's shot-blocking prowess that was on display this season, and it caught the league by a storm. But it also caught the attention of one of the greatest shot blockers in the history of the game, and former Nick and NBA humanitarian Dikembe Mutombo. At a fundraising event this past week, Matumbo was interviewed on Mitchell Robinson, stating that blocking shots is a gift. It comes to those people who study the game, and I think that Mitchell has that gift. So it'll be interesting to see if Mitch can carry that into a second season. But one thing for sure, the Knicks second round pick is ready to work. We already know that he's going to be working on his jumper this offseason. And news has also been reported that he will work with Marcus Camby this offseason on various big man moves. Now, some of you know, I had the opportunity of meeting Mitchell Robinson at the NBA store. Great time, great kid. And for those of you who haven't seen, Mitch is also a big fan of the Mitch Please Knicks Fan TV t-shirt. You can get yours by following the link at the top of your video. And I'll also put a link in the video description to the Knicks Fan TV store. Now, if you're a betting man or woman, you can get in on the action early on the Knicks 2020 NBA Championship odds. Vegas odds makers have put the Knicks opening at a 16 to 1 favorite to win the championship, which is fourth best in the East. Now, this is based on all the offseason speculation that the Knicks will get to max free agents, namely KD and Kyrie Irving. Now, this would put the Knicks behind. Milwaukee, Boston, and Philly in the East. What are your thoughts on this week's news? Leave me a comment in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, the thumbs up, and share these videos. Click on your left-hand side to catch up on some of Knicks Fan TV's off-season videos.